Uh, hey guys, it's Steve. It is Sunday evening, July 28th, I believe, 2024. And I'm going to do a vlog. It's like almost 7 p.m. about that people on their porch and I don't want them to see me filming possibly question me but yeah it's all it's like almost 7 p.m. right now I'm gonna get something to eat at some fast food place I don't I'm trying to figure out where to go it's gonna either be between KFC Burger King or McDonald's I don't know possibly one of the three Gus Euros. BP. 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 Little Caesars. I'll go there some other time. But for now, huh, McDonald's. Can't resist cravings. Well, I don't know what the hell I want right now. Maybe Taco Bell again, who knows? It's up to me what I get. I can get whatever the hell I want. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It's a baseball field over there. It's pretty warm outside right now. It's like in the feels like it's in the 80s or whatever. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of quiet. I don't know what the hell to talk about at the moment. Available. Yeah. Park in restaurant. This pl I think that's park in well this is uh, some abandoned building or whatever. I don't know. Kids over there playing basketball. Closed for vacation opens on August 12th. That's a pretty long vacation that the owners of this business are taking. Fuck, someone's walking their dog. I'm not gonna walk this way. Fuck. Hopefully the KFC building is open. Like the doors are unlocked. I don't know. There's sometimes I, one time I tried going there back in uh, last year. Uh, or not last year, I wasn't living here last year. Last week. Uh, or trying to, go, trying to go to KFC. Or it was a few weeks ago actually. I tried going to KFC and the door was locked. 
And it wasn't even closing time. It wasn't even closing time and they were fucking closed. Like, what the hell? I hate when... I think I know I ranted about this last Sunday's vlog. Because I remember talking about this. So I'm not going to rant on it again. But they better be... The doors better be unlocked. If I go there. I don't know. I haven't had KFC since uh, since January. That was the last time I had them. I've had Burger King and McDonald's a lot. And I mean a lot. Pretty much majority of this entire year I've been eating a lot of McDonald's and Burger King. So I don't know. I had Taco Bell a couple of times recently. But eh, who cares. I'll get what I decide to get. Pizza Hut. JC's muffler and brake. Mark. I actually went here yesterday to get that Coors Light that I drank in the stream last night. I might come here again uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow to get tomorrow's beers. I still got six beers in the fridge that I'll drink tonight. Yeah, I got four MGDs and a 24 ounce of Miller High Life, which equals six beers because a 24 ounce equals two beers. Pretty much two beers in one can, 24 ounces. Mattress Express. Smoker's Choice. It's basically a place that sells like cigarettes, tobacco, vape stuff. E-cigarettes, you know, that, that type of stuff. Rudy's. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully when I upload this vlog, hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to premiere it like last Sunday. Hopefully not as late. So last Sunday, I, I tried premiering earlier, but the reason why I premiered so late was because I was having issues saving my video to my phone because I was using iMovie on this iPhone. That's what I usually edit my videos with. I was having storage issues. I kept trying to save it, and it said not enough storage. And I kept deleting pictures and videos that I did not really need. And I tried deleting a lot, and I st was still having that issue. I'm like, how much storage is taken? And so I, just, and I tried deleting more and more. Some I did not want to delete, but had to. And then eventually I was finally able to upload it. And I'd upload it at a lower quality. This, so this vlog might also be a lower quality. But we'll see. I don't know. Damn, it's hot out here. There's no bikers behind me, all right. There's a biker over there across the street.
So yeah, don't be surprised if this vlog's at lower quality. I, I also deleted a lot more uh, pictures yesterday. So yeah, I may not have any storage problems if I, as long as I upload at a lower quality, like 420, I believe. Oh crap, I see people down that way. They bet, hopefully they're walking straight, not towards me. Anyways, I'll record more. Yeah. Subway, eat fresh. Mmm, Subway. I'm not going there though. I don't really want any Subway. Oh, 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 O'Reilly! Auto parts. McDonald's 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 Uh Yeah Hmm Arby's Maybe Arby's, I don't know. Last time I had Arby's was a few months ago when I was streaming at Arby's that one night. Back when I was doing the public streams due to not being able to use the internet at my house, at my former house that I used to live at. I don't know. I actually saw a video earlier today. Someone, uh, Someone was basically uh, made something like they made like uh, like this person. He went to Burger. He went to Burger King and Arby's. He got a roast beef sandwich and he got a Whopper. He got the roast beef from Arby's and the Whopper from Burger King. And what he did basically was uh, he basically put the roast. He put the roast beef, he took the roast beef out of the Arby's buns and he put it on top of the Whopper, made a roast beef Whopper or whatever, and he, he liked it. Kind of made me hungry for Arby's and Burger King, but I don't know what I want. I hate when I can't make up my mind when I... I, I can't, there's a lot of things I want, but I can't make up my mind on which one I want, you know, which one to get. You know, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Aldi over here. I'll probably come here to get mozzarella cheese probably Thursday and eat for mozzarella. I eat mozzarella cheese on Friday nights, you know, the the, the brick, the rectangle mozzarella cheeses. I like to cut them into cubes or whatever. Usually eat that Friday night. So, I don't know. Huh. I'm already here at KFC. Oh. The doors better not be locked. 
I hate when I go again, I hate when I go to a fast food place and the door is locked and it's not even closing time. Ever since the pandemic and still even though the pandemic is over, still has not fixed the issue. Yeah. Door locked. I bet you that one's gonna be locked, but might as well doesn't hurt to try. Well, looks like no K looks like KFC's out of the question. Again, the fucking door's locked, even though they're fucking not supposed to be closed right now. They close at nine. It's like probably seven o'clock now. For fuck's sake. Does, does this KFC ever open the inside of it? God damn it, man. So I guess it's either between Taco Bell, McDonald's, or Burger King, maybe Arby's. Can't go to K and I don't drive, so I can't go through the drive through That's for cars only. God damn it, man. See what you did, COVID? Not necessarily the virus itself. It's the government. The, the government did not have to go into lockdown and make businesses close over a virus that I can't talk about. I can't say it because YouTube, stupid censorship. They'll give me a community guideline strike for medical misinformation. So I can't, I can't say it. But it's really the government's fault. They, the employees do not have to do that. Or not? What the fuck am I saying? The, the the government did not have to close businesses over over a virus that wasn't as bad as they made it seem to be. They made it seem like it was the most deadliest thing ever. I was gonna kill everybody. No. I actually popped. I think I had it a few years ago. I. It wasn't that bad. It was just like, again, I can't talk about it. Because YouTube stupid censorship. Hey, medic, this violates our community, our medical misinformation. This violates our terms of service for medical misinformation. Bullshit, YouTube. Stupid. Can't even, don't even have free speech anymore on YouTube. It sucks. I miss the old days when YouTube actually had freedom of speech. You were able to say whatever the hell you wanted to say, you know? Unfortunately, those days are over. You can't say anything either because it'll either be offensive or it'll just... or some misinformation because they really don't want people to speak out Possibly the truth. They're obviously hiding something if they're censoring people. I mean, come on. It's Taco Bell. I went here last Sunday. I don't know. It's Burger King down there. Yeah, YouTube really needs to get their crap together. Stop censoring people. Get, let people say what they want. It's not like they're, they're, they're saying death threats or, like, you know, you know, advocating violence or threats. That's, that's really the only thing, okay, fine, that's fine to, you know. But just for saying... Stuff that, that, that's not threatening anyone. Come on. Seriously. People should have the right to say what they want. As long as it's not threatening people or advocating violence. Then people should say whatever the hell they want to say. Seriously. Dollar General. Maybe I'll come to Dollar General one of these days. I wonder if uh, 
Dollar General still has the Mountain Dew Maui Burst or whatever. Because I know that was a Dollar General exclusive Mountain Dew. I want, I've been wanting to review that for years. Just never had a chance to. I mean, there were a, was a Dollar Tree near my house. I'd, but it was kind of a... You know, I didn't feel like walking. Never felt like walking there. I don't know. Burger, this whole Burger King doesn't have this stupid issue. Closing places earlier, locking the doors, doing drive through only. Burger King! for eight minutes. Messed up my order the first time. Yeah, good thing I checked. Like Burger King, Burger King. Hey Bert, Bert, Annie. Yeah, it's a good thing I checked the bag because uh, yeah, and not wait till I get home. Yeah, I looked in the bag. It, it was like a, a Whopper and chicken nuggets or whatever. I'm like, I didn't order this. I ordered two double cheeseburgers and a medium fry and, of course, the drink. But, eh, it's fine. I just, I kindly told them to, that they messed up the order. I was like, uh, excuse me, I think you, you accidentally messed up my order. I asked for two double cheese. You know, all kindly. And she's like, you sure did. She probably realized it. But, eh, it's all right. Accidents happen. I'm not going to freak out like some people, you know. Some people, like, freak out and cuss the employees out and... Hell, some go even go even go as far to shoot and kill an employee just for getting their order wrong. It's like, seriously? First of all, don't shoot and kill people just for that. Don't take someone's, an, someone's life all because they messed up your, your Burger King or your McDonald's order or whatever fast food place... You know, like, come on, that's going way too far. Like, come on. And just, or if you're just giving, the, you're cussing the employees out, come on. It's just, it was a mistake. You don't gotta yell at them or be a dickhead just for, because they accidentally messed up your order, you know? Come on, it was an accident. People make mistakes. Just kindly tell them that you, they messed up the order, you know? You don't gotta, you don't gotta cuss them out or flip them off or whatever. But yeah, Sitco, Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. That was Taco Bell's old slogan back in the day, a long time ago. And now it's like live mass or whatever the hell it is. It's the slogan is now. It's kind of hard to carry all this. Like carry the, the food and drinks with one hand and the camera with the other hand. Think outside the bun. Boom.
Dairy Queen again. Yeah, this is this Dairy Queen's a like an is Dairy Queen treat only. Some Dairy Queens are, you know, only have ice cream only, while others have all of it. The fast food like the burgers, fries. Yeah. Now, this is just a DQ treat only. I don't know why it's like that. Why? Some Dairy Queens sell everything, including, you know, not just ice cream, but food like burgers, fries, while, while others just only have ice cream only. There's this place over here. It's like a bar over here. Or I believe it is. Yeah, it's a pub and grill. Miller Light and Miller High Life in the window. Delicious beers. Oh crap, I hope soda doesn't get on my shirt. Uh, excuse me, I got the purple warples right now. It's KFC again. There's gonna be a car coming. Then KFC where I tried going, but stupid doors were locked. All because the stupid government of back in 2020 decided to close businesses during a virus. That wasn't as bad. And YouTube, I'm not giving medical information, but it's just my opinion. A, a virus that wasn't as bad. What didn't, the government didn't need to close businesses because of it. And because of that, but because of that nonsense, you got these fast food places that are still dealing with understaffing issues, even at, even though the pandemic and stuff is over, businesses still have not recovered from that. Probably because that caused closing places, caused these places to lose money. Stupid government. Look what you did, government. Now you're causing places, caused places to go out of business or just fast food places just to maybe not permanently close, but only have their drive through open because there's not enough employees to keep the entire place open for people who don't drive or who just rather just go inside of the restaurant and order, you know? I wish it was like maybe a, like a drive-thru or whatever for, for pedestrians or something like that. Like Dairy Queen has. Dairy Queen has a window outside there. You don't even go inside Dairy Queen. You, you just order from the window. You know, Dairy Queen has something like that. Why can't these other fast food places? I don't know. Aldi again. I don't know. I'll record more. Arby's across the street again. Yummy Arby's. Maybe next time I'll go to Arby's. I don't know. Or McDonald's. Whatever I decide to get. Next time I get fast food, maybe later this week or next weekend. I don't know. It's up to me. Uh, excuse me? McDonald's, 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 McDonald's. Yeah, I'd get McDonald's. Yeah, maybe next time. Or Arby's or Taco Bell. I don't know, maybe KFC if they finally pull their heads out of their asses and unlock the doors for pedestrians. People who don't drive. It's not just, you know, pedestrians and people who don't drive. Some people just that do drive. They just prefer, they just don't like going through drive throughs They rather just go through the damn 
go inside or eat there, you know? Say, so come on. I'm tired of these shit happening. I know I keep ranting about that, but it pisses me off. I'm so fucking fed up going to a fast food restaurant and the door's fucking locked and it's not even closed. It's just drive through only. It's like, fuck. See what the government did in 2020? That's what you caused. Because I never had that issue, never had that issue before the, the pandemic begun. Before the pandemic begun, I never had that issue. Places never closed early or never just closed their inside and just would drive through only. No, places never did that until the freaking pandemic happened. And it's been happening ever since, even though the pandemic is over. You, 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 I already mentioned that earlier of why. Stupid government. I don't know. Yeah. Seven twenty eight right now, it's almost seven thirty. Dogs and cream. Try our Wisco dog. They got the South Chicago style hot dogs here. I mean, this somewhat technically is. This is pretty the town I live in. It's pretty much both in both the Chicago and Milwaukee area. I live, yeah, like I live between, like closer to Milwaukee, but. I'm still also tech this still still somewhat technically the Chicago market as well. It's like pretty much Chicago and Milwaukee. I'm not surprised why they still sell Chicago stuff in this town. Yeah, Chicago style hot dogs I don't really like. I like regular hot dogs with ketchup and ketchup only. That's it. No, it, it, you know, in Chicago, you're not supposed to have ketchup on your hot dogs. You know, sorry. I'm, it's hard to turn the damn camera when I'm holding everything. It's, yeah, it's kind of, yeah. Chicago style hot dogs. It, it, you're apparently not allowed, you're not supposed to have ketchup on your hot dogs. And you have like stuff, you could have mustard, but not ketchup. Uh, yeah, if you could like pickles, relish, which is the green, green sauce or whatever. Uh, tomatoes and onions. Like, fuck that. That's nasty. I want that. I like hot dogs with ketchup and ketchup only. I don't care if it's a violation of Chicago's rules. I'll eat a hot dog however I want to eat it. It just tastes best when it's just with ketchup. I tried a Chicago style dog hot dog once back in 2004. You know, my my Uncle Joe, I remember, we were taking a walk. He took me to this hot dog place or whatever for lunch one day because he was babysitting me for whatever. My parents were like going out somewhere that day and my uncle joe was babysitting me i was at his house in a the house he lived at at the time in berwin illinois he took me to this hot dog place he's like hey, hey you want a chicago style dog and i'm like sure you know and i didn't even know what a chicago style dog i thought it was just a regular hot dog i didn't think anything of it like everything on it i'm like yeah sure because i didn't think anything of it And then I got the hot dog. I opened up the hot dog wrapper and I saw I had all this stuff. I'm like, what is this? He's like, that's a Chicago style hot dog. 
I'm like, I don't want this. I think like, you said you want everything. I'm like, yeah, I thought it was just ketchup. How? He's like, no, this is Chicago style dog. And Chicago style hot dog is has has all this stuff. It's no ketchup. It has pickles, relish, onions, and tomatoes. And he, you know, he made me take a bite. So I took a bite of it, and I did not really like it. Smoker's choice. Is the Amoco again? I would zoom in, but can't because I'm holding all this with this. Yeah, Chicago style hot dogs are fucking disgusting. Same with Chicago style pizza. And when I mean Chicago style pizza, I'm talking about deep dish, not tavern style thin crust. I like I like tavern style. Tavern style is basically thin crust. That's good. But deep dish. Yeah. Chicago style deep dish is nasty. I I mean it's not the worst thing. It's Okay, it's not nasty. It's okay, but it's just not my favorite. Like, it's really thick pizza. Like, really thick. The crust is really thick. It's made in a pan or whatever. And they put the cheese on. It's, like, way too much cheese. Like, too cheesy. And, uh, way too much sauce. Like, they put the sauce on top of the cheese. And you eat it with, like, a fork and a knife. You know, I'm not a fan of that type of pizza. Again, it's not nasty, it's okay, but I don't really like my, really prefer my pizza like that. Or especially thick. I like thin crust, like tavern style. Again, tavern style is the Chicago style pizza that I actually like. But, yeah, Chicago style deep dish pizza and Chicago style hot dogs. I remember I did a rant on... Chicago style pizza and hot dogs on my old channel. Unfortunately, I don't have that one backed up. Maybe I'll redo it with Microsoft Sam. I didn't do that one with Microsoft Sam. I did that one uh, just showing my face. Usually, my food, most of my food rants are with Microsoft Sam. But if I redo it, I'll probably just do it with Microsoft Sam. I don't know. I'm almost home. Yeah, I wish I had that rant backed up. Though. I did that rant back in uh, November of 2016, I remember. The Chicago-style hot dogs and pizza. And I didn't know, like, tavern-style, what tavern-style was. I thought it was just regular thin crust. That's why I wasn't... In that rant when I said Chicago style, I wasn't specific. I just assumed people just automatically knew it was just deep dish only. But again, Chicago style has two different types of deep dish, two different types of pizza. They have their own thin crust, which is good, but deep dish, which is, yeah, I don't care for. You know? But yeah. A helicopter up there. Mm, that's a Chicago dog. Mm, it's nasty. I don't want, I don't like hot dogs like that. I like hot dogs with ketchup and ketchup only. It's baseball field over there. I should go there and play baseball. Maybe my buddy Adrian come come visit this area and we can go to this ballpark. Or Hey, me and my relatives play baseball. I don't know. Still got to get all my baseball equipment. I only got one one bat with me. So I bring a couple other bats, but I guess my dad forgot to bring those inside the house. Inside. So we probably got to wait till next time. Little Caesars. BP. Ba -ba 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 -ba. BP Little Caesars. Sipco.
All right, I'll record more once I get to the house. All right, I'm at the house. Okay. All right, let's go upstairs. My room. And yeah. All right, sorry about that. I had to, you know, yeah. I got a new blanket for my bed today. This red blanket not covers the entire bed. I'm gonna use my old, my, old main blanket as a pillow or as a backup blanket I'm gonna put this on my bed this is what I'm gonna put my drink on my coke and yeah a little table that I eat food or drink my beers on so yeah, it's my drink, my Coca-Cola. I asked for a small Coke, but they just gave me a large one. Eh, it's fine, as long as I didn't have to pay for the for a large. I'm pretty thirsty. Mm, let's go down. Fries. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Uh, two burgers. One in there. Hope they didn't fuck up this burger. All right, pickles. Pretty much everything I like on a Burger King burger. Let me just move the one pickle to that side. Hang on. Alright, they did give me napkins. Good. Alright. So, without further ado, let's eat. Mmm. Hey, Bert. Bert. Annie. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now. I'm just gonna eat my food the rest of the night and just, yeah, chill out, watch TV, watch videos, do whatever I'm gonna do the rest of the night. Drink some beer tonight. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll vlog again maybe next weekend or maybe later during the week if I get fast food. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, see you later guys. Goodbye. Have a good one.